Chrissy Coyle Breesby, and um, I got involved in Dream Hunt in 2016. My husband came home and started telling me all about this uh, amazing organization called Dream Hunt Foundation that he had uh, a buddy of his had just got him involved in, and he had just gone to a meeting, and he was super excited about it. And I was, of course, excited because um, I saw his passion for it. I got involved with the Dream Hunt through Josh Grant and Sarah Grant, and also Jeff Ward, and a uh, great guy, Josh and Sarah some of the best people you ever meet. This whole Dream Hunt Foundation is, is just a stand-up crew. Man, they're cooking food for these kids, taking them hunting. It's, it's, it's really put my life into perspective of, you know, who, who am I, what am I doing? You know, how can I serve, how can I give back? I just remember walking up and, and seeing all the volunteers and then seeing all of these children and their parents who had come out to take part in the hunt of a lifetime. And you just look around the room, and I remember seeing all the smiles on their faces. I remember seeing all of these, all these children laughing and, and interacting with each other, and uh, the volunteers interacting with them. And these grown men who were big time hunters, um, really just interacting with the kids and getting on their level. And you could just see their lives were being changed as much as, as the children's lives were being changed. You know, some of these kids are not fortunate and to have someone able to take their time out of their life, to sit in a stand one-on-one -on -one, and just allow them to have that opportunity to kill a deer just means the world to them. It's just, uh, it's hard, words can't really describe it really. You have to be a part of it. You're always trying to figure out what can I do to give back? What can I do for my community or for the world or just whatever? And you know, we don't have a ton of money. We don't have a ton of things, but we can give our land. We can give our time. Um, you know, we can give other things. We can give our prayers. Some of the limitations that the children have had have prevented them from being able to express themselves in an outwardly way. Um, but you can just see it in their eyes and they're so excited and it's just so thrilling for them. To be out here and to see the, what the kids go through when they come back killing the deer and even the kids that didn't kill a deer and they come back and still got a smile on their face because somebody took the time out. And that's what it's all about. When you see and get to work with families that aren't as fortunate and you see that they don't get to do the things that we get to do every day. Uh, it'll almost bring, I mean, it won't almost, it will bring a tear to your eye. And then when you get to help a family or a child and you get to see that whole family rejoice and enjoy what, what God's put out here for us all to enjoy, then it just brings it all full circle. A couple years ago, man, I, I, it gives me chills thinking about it, but I took a kid named Bryce Buchanan uh, me and Taylor Smith, and uh, man, he, he was just an, an awesome, awesome individual, man. And he touched my heart, and I mean, to this day, he is one of my favorite people in this world, and I talk to him all the time, but the, the hunt with me and him and Taylor was just, it, it, was, it was touching, man. And his grandpa was with us, and when he, when he killed his deer, the moment that it happened, we all broke into tears, and, and the, the reaction of Bryce and, and the look on his face and the... I mean, his, his reaction was priceless, and it was just, I mean, we were all sitting there bawling, crying, and when we got down to the deer, his granddaddy was holding him and, and bawling, crying himself, and, I mean, it was just something that I will never, ever forget. I mean, it's changed my heart, it's changed my outlook on life and, and the people that, you know, I, I'm involved with, and trying, you know, taking these kids and letting them do something that they will probably never, ever get to do again in their life. I mean, it's a once-in-a-lifetime deal for most of these kids and getting to be a part of that with them is something that means so much to me and something that I look forward to every year. If you're a kid out there, it is a wonderful experience to have if you have never hunted and if you qualify for it. I, I think this was uh, something I would never get to do because my dad, he has a busy work schedule and I don't get this many opportunities. To all the sponsors, to everybody that makes Dream Hunt possible, you just don't know what it means to a child to have the opportunity to, to fulfill their dreams and as a parent to see your child happy. I mean, down to the core happy. These kids might get one chance in their life to experience what we take for granted. I really think... That was good. I really think that that's what's important is just to give yourself and all you can do and just let the Lord take care of it 
and from there, you know, it, he is just going to take care of it. You know, you can you can try so hard to make everything perfect, and when it all comes down to it, he's just going to let it all happen. And we had a great time this weekend, and we had so many kids come out, and they're bonding. They're over there, you know, fishing and talking to each other and getting to know each other, get to know our friends, and you know, it's just a big fellowship of people coming together for God, and um, you really can't beat it. It was really me that, that was blessed. It, um, I had a chance. <laughs> um, I know, but I don't... <laughs> That's awesome. And I think that's what really opened my eyes through Dream Hunt is this is something that's very special and this is a dream for so many kids with special needs, um, might have a disability. Their ultimate dream is just to go on the hunt of a lifetime and that's what's so special about Dream Hunt is, is these kids, their dreams are coming true thanks to the Dream Hunt Foundation. And rarely do you get the opportunity to supply the best day in the life of a kid.